Welcome to Bugs of the Month with Carl Olson, Associate Curator for the University of Arizona Department of Entomology. Bugs of the Month is part of Exploring Arizona Life Science Research and Biodiversity with the Tree of Life web project. Visit podcasts at tolweb.org to contribute and to view related learning materials. Contact me, Lisa Schwartz, at learning at tolweb.org with questions and comments. Episode 1 is Manduca rustica, the rustic sphinx moth. Late summer, early fall after the monsoons brings lots more of the insect world to people's eyesight. One of the really huge caterpillars that gets people excited is a giant green caterpillar with purple and white diagonal stripes along the sides and a long gnarly horn on the rear that tells you this is a hornworm. These are part of the family Sphingidae, and the one that people see now is one called a Manduca rustica, the rustic sphinx moth. This particular caterpillar may be seen feeding on the desert willow or one of the urban landscape plants, Japanese honeysuckle, provides good food. People at first don't notice this giant caterpillar feeding, but they may, if they look on the ground, notice very large black uh, pieces of material that we call frass. It's the excrement of this particular caterpillar. This gives you an idea. I should look on this plant and see if I can find the disguised caterpillar. Get your eyesight good and start looking. Because this caterpillar may be up to five inches long and the diameter of my thumb, which is about three quarters of an inch or more. Large! This caterpillar will finish feeding and then will start wandering. All caterpillars have to work off their food resources a little bit, but they're preparing themselves because here's another caterpillar that burrows into the ground and pupates. Rustica is going to make a little cell underneath the ground and change clothes. It stays down in the ground, again, maybe to overwinter, not to emerge as a moth until maybe next late spring. The moth is a very large black and white mottled moth with a wingspan maybe in excess of four to five inches across. When it lands, though, it will fold its wings back and look like a sleek airplane. Sphinx moths are well known because they can hover in front of a flower and they will uncoil a very long proboscis, their mouth part, which they use for drinking nectar. And they can stay hovering in front of the flower until they've finally taken a long sip of that sweet nectar. This moth, again, is one of our good pollinators of the desert and will seek out very large trumpet-shaped white flowers. Look for these moths that may land at your lights at nighttime on your house.